Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSCX remained in the red zone as it lost 25.19 points or 0.40% and settled at 6,235 points. Market turnover was BDT 4.34 billion, which is a decrease of 20.54% compared to the previous trading day. Far East Islamic Life Insurance, Popular Life Insurance and Pioneer Insurance from the insurance sector, Stern Housing, Bangladesh Shipping Corporation and Summit Alliance Port from the industrial sector and Orion Pharma, Orion Infusion and Kohinoor Chemicals from the pharmaceutical sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, only the food and light sector posted a gain of 1.61%. On the other hand, the insurance sector posted the highest loss of 2.33%. Today. Six insurance companies were among the top 20 losers today. Unilever Consumer Care, Mono Agro and General Machinery and Shampoo Sugar Mills registered the highest gain, while Legacy Footwear, Proguti Life Insurance and Dominate Steel Building Systems were the top losers. Unilever Consumer Care gained value today as there was no price limit on the trading of shares due to its 240% cash dividend and 60% stock dividend corporate declaration. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Unilever Consumer Care, Renvik Jajneshwar and Mariko Bangladesh increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The investors might have shown interest in Unilever Consumer Care as they have posted encouraging dividends. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. After a few months, the general inflation rate again soared by 0.21% in February compared to the previous month of the current year, which is now 8.78%. The rise of inflation took place despite decreased commodity prices in the global market. The tax revenue collection from the Dhaka Stock Exchange went down by 17.22% month over month in February of the current fiscal year due to the significantly fall in turnover. The reason behind this downfall is the investors' lack of trust in the market due to various factors including economic volatility. Even the tax revenue collection from the sponsor director's share sales ebbed down in February. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.